Hi guys, I hope you can see me. I'm in my kitchen and this is probably one of my favourite places. It is my, my kitchen window and I have a lot of Hoyas which you probably won't be able to see because they're behind the table. And then I have my Skindapsis that goes all the way across and I have my beautiful Hoya Crimson Princess which is actually one of my favourite Hoyas. It's so beautiful. So I thought for a change of scenery today because I was doing some plant chores in my kitchen I thought I would record here today. So what I have done is I've gone to my second Fabricor cabinet. So my first Fabricor cabinet was in my last video. I will put a link below if you want to check that one out. And this is my second Fabricor cabinet. So what I did was I took everything to the sink and I washed my pots, all my, um, what would you call these, the water pots and I flushed all the pond. Now I did do a video on that before, so I will put a link to that. I thought you probably didn't need to see that again. So now that I have done that, I thought I would update you on all the Hoyas in the cabinet. Hi guys, my name is Gronya and this is my channel, Jungle Flowers Canada. Thank you so much for joining me. So, um, let's just do a little bit of maintenance as well. I should actually have um, something to put little dead leaves and stuff into. Let me grab some paper towel. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So the first, oh, there's a lot of water dripping out of these guys. So the first plant is the Hoya Matilde. This is actually one of the plants where I first met Paula. I bought this off of her, I'm guessing, would it be two or maybe three years ago? I'm not quite sure. And um, it, I have struggled with it. She gave it to me in pond and I took it out of pond and put it into soil and it didn't like the soil. So I have since put it back in pond and it's doing much better now. So here we have my Hoya Matilde. So I have shown you this before. Now, unfortunately, this particular pot is no longer available. You, this pot was like 3.93 inches and that was the width of the rim and the inside pot I'm guessing is probably about maybe three inches um, so it has a nice little limp, limp, it has a nice little lip on it which fits perfectly into these Dollarama cups like so. So they work, so it works out to be a beautiful little hydroponic pot. And I do have a lot of my Hoyas in this. Um, I will look and see if I can find another pot similar. I did put a link up for a pot before, but one of you wrote to me and said it didn't fit because the inside was a little too big. So I will see if I can find something that's a little more suited to this, but do keep a look out on Amazon. And this, were, I love this because I can see when I need to water. Now in here I have, this is four gallons of water, four litres, sorry, four litres of water. And I use, <laughs> I use Root Farm hydroponics and I have part one and part two in here. I will put them up on the screen. And I, so what I do is I just mix a cap full of each in. I, there's no fantastic science to this. And now I am just going to fill this up just, oh, Okay, so I actually, I'm making an awful mess here, guys. I actually put too much water in. I usually put this into a watering can, but I was kind of, you know, being lazy. So I put water just up to the bottom of the pot. So you don't want the bottom of the pot actually sitting in the water because it will, the wicking cords, the wicking cords will wick it up. So just to the bottom of the pot. So there is my Hoya Matilde. So guys, I have a lot of news for you. I did tell you in my last video that I have two new grandsons whom I am absolutely thrilled with, but I also got COVID and I have been so sick. It really knocked me for 10. So I haven't done a video in actually three, this three weeks since I did my last video. So I really, really am uh, taking a long time to recover. So anyway, let's have a look here. So here I have my Polyneura and I love this plant. Again, this was one I bought off of Paula and it is starting to put out all these new branches. Can you see here? So it was a single branch once upon a time and now it's putting out all these new branches on its own. 
I I can propagate obviously I've been propagating for years but I have trouble propagating two plants that you may be surprised to hear I have trouble propagating my polyvora and also my linearis I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I have tried to propagate this and the propagations just don't survive for me so now I'm just going to let this oh, let this baby just do her thing and thankfully she is putting out all these lovely branches so it's not that vital that I propagate her. So there we have the Hoya polyneura. Uh, the countertop is saturated here. Next up is the Hoya cinnamon folia. I got this as a one leaf cutting, gosh, over two years ago, I would say. And um, she took a while. I gotta be very careful now because I see new leaves coming there and I really don't want to um, to damage the new growth but I love these Hoya that have the vertical veining on the leaf I'm hoping that you can see it and it's not actually gone quite dark hold on a moment okay so I'm hoping you can see it so it has lovely vertical veining on the leaves so this is the Hoya cinnamon folia and you can see it's got quite a long tendril and um, I do see new growth here so I, um, I want to be extra careful because I really don't want to damage this. So the Hoya cinnamon folia. Okay, so I'll put this back in here. And so this is a very inexpensive way to pot up your Hoyas and I particularly like it as I say because I can see I am really making a mess. Thankfully, well you probably can see but um, I particularly like these pots. Okay guys, I'm going to fill up my little Ikea pot. So in here I have a mosquito junk because I have noticed that the fungus gnats are starting to come back. Um, I do have my um, my little mosquito traps going and they do work great they catch the adult ones but you need the I find you have to have the mosquito jumps in your water to kill the, the babies or the larva okay so what have we next next up we have my gun and gadding which I did cut up so I made some cuttings of this and I sold some and I actually may, I have one, one or two extra which I may put back in here just to make a bigger plant because I absolutely love this plant. I just think it is truly stunning. And I know it's expensive to buy, but I would recommend it um, in your collection if you are looking for something. It's starting to come down in price. It's not nearly as expensive as it used to be. And uh, you, so you should be able to pick up a cutting for maybe 50 or $60. It used to be over a hundred so I would definitely recommend it so the Hoya let's show it to you again so you can get a beautiful see how beautiful it is gun and gadding what I will say about this is it's a very fast grower so um, it's an easy one if you do make an investment you should be able to sell cuttings of it um, you know fairly quickly now I'm after going too far again so just watch that you I'll just show you what I did there I put I don't know if you can see, I, the water came just up above the bottom of the pot. So if you do that, just pour a little bit out. And we want it just sitting at the top of the pot. Here we have my Hoya Nicholsonii New Guinea ghost. And she is actually starting to sun stress again, which I am so excited about. Can you, I don't want it to focus on my face. What can I do here to stop it focusing on my face? It's such a gorgeous leaf and this plant just grows so quickly. I'm going to bring this over so I can show you. I don't want to damage it. She's putting out lots of new leaves. I hope you can see the sun stressing on this leaf. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a very prolific grower. So I wanted to show you something. I So I've shown you the small pots. I, did a little bit of research and I have come up with a larger pot. Now I actually just wrote Hoya Nicholsonia New Guinea Ghost there. I don't think I'm going to do it for all of them, but I was trying to think, okay, 
but that's actually too much work. I'm just going to put name tags in them. So I'm going to put a link in the description. So this is a net pot. It is a, I believe the outside is a five inch and the inside is four inch. And then these are just soup containers. So it's kind of the next step up of these pots here. So my Hoya Nicholsonii, I have a cutting of it. So I decided I was going to up pot it and put the two cuttings in. So I actually have some pond already in here. And what I do is I put a little bit of window mesh on the bottom. And then this is just actually macrame cord. So macrame cord, a bit of window mesh in the bottom to stop the, the pond falling through. And then I thought, let's up pot this to the bigger pot. Let's have a look. So the roots are fantastic. Can you see the roots there? So I thought uh, there, there is some mesh on the bottom of this, so I will try and pull this mesh out without damaging the leaves too much. When you have as many plants as most of us do, like this is an, uh, it's nice to find a less expensive way to pot up pots and you know we, we, we spend a lot on our plants so I'm always trying to look for inexpensive ways to pot them up basically <laughs> I can't uh, describe it any more simply than that so I have done a few in this and I do like it and this one is yeah the roots are just very small on this it hasn't fully established yet but it has roots so it will be fine to go into this pot so we just take this pond here, this pond here, and we'll just cut, make sure all the roots are covered. And now we have a larger self-watering pot for pennies on the dollar. <laughs> so it's much less expensive than if you were to buy these pot, like self-watering pots from Amazon, even though they have come down in price. But when you're buying when you have like 200 plants, it can get expensive, right? So I will put all the links in the description for these. Now, this is going to be a little bit unsteady until the roots settle. But there is my Hoya Nicholsonii New Guinea Ghost. Isn't she beautiful? I am going to put a little bit of Osmocote on the top as well, which is a slow release fertilizer. Usually I mix it through, but I forgot, so I'm just going to put it on top. And then we're just going to do the same as we did with the others, and we're just going to fill to the bottom of the pot. So, Hoya Nicholsonii New Guinea Ghost. And Granny is making it all right mess here. I'm also quite low, which is I think is making me even more awkward. Next up is, so this is a Hoya Silver Lady. And this was a cutting that I just bought recently. Let's see, can we get this to focus? I just bought this recently on Marketplace and um, it hasn't really done anything yet. Uh, hopefully I will get a new growth point soon. And I'm really loving all these silver Hoyas, guys. I think they are gorgeous. And I picked this up. This was actually quite inexpensive for the silver Hoyas. I think I paid $40 for it. Um, and I do find that they grow quickly. So it certainly is a good way to increase your collection. So there is the Hoya Silver Lady. Let's tap her up with some nutrient water. There she goes. Okay, now here we have the Hoya Rangsan. I think I always say this wrong. Look at all the peduncles on her. I hope you can see. She has tons of peduncles. Her flower is very small, uh, but these are all getting ready to bloom. And I am so excited about it. I also love the leaf on the Rangsan. I think it's really, really beautiful. Again, it's that vertical veining and that beautiful splash. So 
This actually did get attacked by mealybugs when I was on vacation in April, but thankfully she has bounced back. So the higher thing. Oh no, she doesn't go in that one. So she hangs at the side of my cabinet in one of these. I have just plastic hooks. I should insert a photo. I will insert a photo of my cabinet. Um, I have to clean it because one of the suction hooks came off and one of the pots came crashing down. It did damage some leaves in my in my um, cabinet um, and there's pawn everywhere. So I do need to get to that. Now these, this is exciting. So what do I have here? I have, so this, so the Hoya Nova Ghost, I do need to split these up guys, because look at the roots. I need to get, but I'm not going to do it right now just because I'm, oh, I'm so busy, but I have, I bought this Hoya Nova Ghost off of Paula and it is so silver. I hope you can see it. So this here is the Nova Ghost. She gifted me the Hoya Grey Ghost and look at the new leaf the Hoya Grey Ghost has put out. It is stunning. And she also gifted me the Saba GPS 7950 which has just put out this new growth point here. There's no new leaves yet but it's put out a new growth point. These are fabulous and like honestly having Paula as a plant friend I feel so blessed because she's so so kind to me. Like I do my very best to repay her, but I don't always have things that she needs because she has so many plants. So when I can, I absolutely do. But she has just been so generous to me. And without her, I wouldn't have many of these beautiful plants in my collection. So again, we have the Hoya Nova Ghost, the Hoya Grey Ghost, and the Saba GPS, what is it, 7950 beautiful. They, as you can see they do definitely need to go into their own pots but that is for another day. I, I literally only got home last night. I have spent, um, how long have I spent with my daughter? 10 days with my daughter because what happened was I was in the birth with both, in for the birth for both my daughters which is the most magical experience. Honestly it was just so beautiful. But when I came home, the, the day after I came home from my daughter Amanda's birth, that's when I discovered I had COVID. I could not believe it. I was so worried and so upset for the baby. But it turns out that she also had COVID and so did her husband. So I, we, we all had COVID. We were very careful around the baby. We all wore masks. But um, because they were sick, I actually went and stayed with them and helped them take care of the baby. Thankfully, you know, as they were very careful, the baby didn't get COVID, and, um, but I was able to help them um, with all the duties of taking care of a baby. And then my, so that was uh, April 9th, he was born, so that was April 10th, I got COVID. Then April 19th, so 10 days later, my other daughter had her baby, so I was thankfully in for her labor as well. And uh, so basically I have not been home since the 10th of August. I, li I pop in and out, but I haven't actually, you know, been home on my own to do stuff since. So last night was my first night at home in my own bed doing my own thing. So, um, it, you know, I wish I had somebody to help me when I was a young mother because, um, I, like I didn't have my family here in Canada where I had my kids and then when I went home to Ireland I had my son but my mum was quite sick and I was actually taking care of her so I know how important it is to have a support system so I really it was important to me that I was there for my girls. So enough of that. Here we have the Hoya pot, uh, pot of gold. Is it, I think is it called Latifolia now? Um, so I this is gorgeous. I got this from my friend Tatum and I just think it's so beautiful and you can see I also have it in one of these pots that hangs on the side of my cabinet. You'll notice there that I don't have a wicking cord on this and I don't know why I didn't put a wicking cord on it but you can see it isn't doing it any harm. It's still quite happy and um, I just make sure I have to make sure that I have them watered all the time. Now here we have 
some more gorgeous babies from Paula. And let me read what these are. So this one here is the Patchy Clad uh, New Moon. Isn't that gorgeous? And that is putting out a new growth point. Can you see? And then this one here is the Macrophylla Snow Queen. Oh, I love this. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. So these are two more beauties that she gifted to me. And I am very grateful for her. So let's put these in here. I did actually buy a few more plants, um, but I will do, um, I'll do a video. I bought some lovely cuttings that I will show you maybe in the next video, some really nice Hoyas. Uh, this here is the Hoya 0734, and I was having trouble with this. It was not growing for me. And I unpotted it, cut off all the roots, and put it back into the pond, and it has since put out a new leaf and a new growth point. So the roots were actually rotten. So if you see your plants are not doing well, check the roots and unpot them. Guys, you should see the mess I am making here. It's absolutely awful. Sorry, that was my phone. So what did I just show you? The Hoya 0734, it's gorgeous. Just so you can get another chance to see it. Really, really beautiful. And then, my very sad linearis. I just, this does not like me. This plant does not like me at all. Um, I've tried taking cuttings of it so many times. It just, no, it doesn't, it's not happy. Maybe I'll try it in soil. I don't know, maybe it might prefer soil, uh, but not. I used to, like, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this and I'm so delighted I got it from one of you viewers actually. We did a trade and I love it, but it does not love me. So the Hoya Linearis. And then last but not least is my Hoya uh, Mauna Loa, which is the inner variegated um, Hoya Compacta. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. It's not that clear to see. And this was a beautiful, big Hoya Ultra Variegated compacta. I bought it in 2018 and it was flowing over the side of the pot and it got mealy bugs. So that's all that's left of it. Paula has actually just after giving me a cutting of hers. So I will add it to this. But this was like my favourite plant. I used to love it and it was so big. It was gorgeous. But now it has, it has resorted to a like a stump basically. So guys that's all of, oh no that's not all of the plants. Last but not least is my Hoya Michelle. And again, I got this from Paula. And I love the Hoya Michelle. I've seen it on many YouTubers' channels and I could not wait to get my hands on it. So Paula gave me this cutting. It did have that long tendril and then it did put out this leaf after she gave it to me. So I'm hoping, I might actually take a cutting, uh, maybe just like about here and uh, put it into the pot and make a bigger pot of it, but I think it's gorgeous. I love the Hoya Michelle. I was actually going to transfer it into this pot, which I think I might do, but I'll have to do it later because it's weird. things are a bit messy here. But the roots are beautiful on it. I don't know if you can see the roots, probably not, but I think I'm going to transfer it into one of these pots. So that is everything that was in my cabinet. There are there is a uh, philodendron melanochrysum in there and there is a I believe a glorious and there is a lovely alocasia but I thought we'd just focus on the Hoyas today and I will have to do I will have to like spread my wings from Hoyas don't I but like they are my favorite so I will do a video uh, another day of some of my other beautiful plants that I have so guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you watched until the end, don't forget to put the green heart emoji in the comments. And thank you so much for giving me time out of your busy day. You take care and have a wonderful day.